What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Halloween ends in this video here today. Now the teaser that was supposed to come out later today actually came out actually came out yesterday because of the fact by the time you see this by the time you see this video it's probably like 1 a.m uh because I, I was going to aim to have it at 12 30 it's not going to be 12 30 it's probably gonna be 1 a.m by the time you hear this the teaser apparently started getting leaked so universal just like with halloween kills got ahead of the game they've released the teaser early it was released late last night at around or late tonight around like nine or ten or so i saw it as soon as i got on my nope screening the teaser starts off with uh us getting shots of haddonfield people trick-or-treating a pov shot of someone stalking a house walking up to a house going into the house we hear heavy breathing they go upstairs it is presumed to be michael myers but then their hand starts opening a door into a bedroom but and then we were we are shown michael myers and the room he's opening the door to reveals Laura Strode standing behind it, who's wearing this outfit that's clearly an homage to what she wore during the finale of the 1978 movie, holding a gun ready to shoot him. Now, I want people to pay attention to something here. I don't, I'm sure other people have pointed this out. When he goes to open the door, that's completely different than what we were just seeing. So I think there's a strong chance that what we saw was maybe that Corey character going up the stairs and doing whatever it is that has the town of Haddonfield thinking they are somehow just like michael myers because when michael is shown opening the door that room that we see Lori in it's a it's a it's a clever teaser trick and another another trick you'll see them do all the time with trailers too the frames don't line up when looking at some of the surroundings between the person going up the stairs and then the shot of Lori with the gun that's not a bedroom she's standing in what, what happened to the bed i just saw i'm pretty sure i saw a bed and it, it literally looked like a bedroom so I like that transition there because I don't think many people are going to pick up on that. I really think that this is that Corey character who's supposed to be like a new Michael Myers character that Rohan Campbell's playing. Presumably has a big connection to Allison since she has a big role in the movie as well. Maybe that I, I'm going to just say they're probably dating most likely. The teaser all in all, I was impressed by it. I Again, that was a brilliant transition. The cinematography, I've seen it, loved it the tones and the hues the or the, the hues of the uh the blue and stuff like that very much so reminiscent of what we saw in the 1978 movie i loved that type of stuff we were seeing there it was again mostly a lot of what was shown at cinemacon without also being a complete retread i guess of what they showed at cinemacon because uh, I know it wasn't a complete rematch. Going off the descriptions from the CinemaCon footage and what they released, they shook a few things up. We did get like a blurb of stuff that was kind of acting like a recap of what we already know. It hyped up their saga ending, that of course being Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. We got the kitchen brawl highlighted. Laurie gets launched across the table. I have seen some people kind of pick up on, I guess, Michael has his his hands or not hands he had both his hands always his fingers grew back i hope that's not the case because that's that's not how that works then again again that's of course something something minor in the grand scheme of things but yeah your fingers don't grow back <laughs> they don't grow back so i hope that's not what what is going on and that his hands have somehow magically grown back but the teaser was again amazing jamie lee curtis looks amazing in the teaser i do want to say that i know some people are probably like they shouldn't be doing this because they're hyping up Lori versus michael and it's not going to be a Lori versus michael centered centered film going off of what we've been told from people who have attended these test screenings i do want to say this while it may not be centered that way they still are doing a correct job at marketing the movie how it should be marketed to get the butts in the seats they know what you are coming to see so honestly at the end of the day marketing your movie around this encounter that's inevitably going to happen i wouldn't say is a bad thing it's the selling point you're going to have a hopefully very compelling i know it's going to be different narrative that is so that is related to this Corey character for a good chunk of the movie Lori apparently doesn't have as big of a role as many people i guess thought she would have going into a movie called halloween end where you're gonna have a final battle between her and michael myers you're gonna hopefully have a compelling narrative that introduces this new character named Corey, who is the new michael myers type of character i guess that haddonfield will be obsessing over uh going using him to i guess talk about the commentary they want to address like evil and the embodiment of evil all these other aspects of how they might be comparing him to michael myers and all these questions that maybe be arising because he's acting in a way that michael acted when he killed his sister judith so we'll see how that's all addressed 
And hopefully that's something that's more compelling than how I guess most people think it is from what test screening reactions are saying. And it builds to this moment in which Michael is back. And I, again, I don't have a problem with us getting a movie where it seems like everyone doesn't know that Michael's back. I, I think I honestly would prefer something like that where they they're so focused on this other guy. They forget about or they've completely forgotten about the person who actually still could be out there. They've all told themselves maybe that Michael is dead and he's not coming back. But then they're treated to a grand surprise when it's revealed that Michael is the one doing all this stuff around town, not Corey. And honestly, again, if it plays out like that, that sounds heavily a lot like a, a concept I know that Dave McRae has done on his channel for Halloween 5. So again, it depends on how it's executed, because I, I wouldn't be against something like that, where you're playing up this idea of Mike. We know Michael's going to come back, obviously, but playing up this idea of is this Michael or is this Corey doing these killings? Now, of course, certain camera angles and stuff like that will give it away. But again, just somehow, maybe if they could play that up a bit, having you doubt that this is Michael Myers, because we don't actually know how tall the character is supposed to be. If anyone knows how tall Rohan Campbell is, I guess you can chime in down in the conversation below. I just think that would be something very compelling to do. Having us with a narrative in which you're having your audience question whether this is actually Michael or is it Corey? And then at the very end, not necessarily the last 10 minutes or anything like that, but like the last maybe 30 minutes. Michael can be confirmed to be around town even, but they don't know that he's back until maybe the last 30 minutes. And it's just like this 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 mind this momentum that builds and builds and builds to michael's appearance on screen it also just again depends on how the prior stuff they present to you before was handled because some people i know they want a michael myers filled movie you basically got that with halloween kills so i'm not against a narrative like this it just depends on how it's all executed the teaser that we got tonight amazing i loved it can't wait to see a trailer when that drops i want to know what you guys thought about the teaser down in the comment section below are you excited for halloween ends if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video